We want to get to the other big story that we're following for you today. The verdicts announced in the Governor Whitmer kidnapping plot trial. The jury did not reach a single guilty verdict in this case. Instead, they returned no verdict for both Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr. The jury found Brandon, Brandon Caserta and Daniel Harris not guilty on all counts. We have team coverage of today's verdict and reaction from the courtroom. We want to begin with Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker, who covered this case gavel to gavel. Yet yeah, today, after an investigation that lasted a year and a half, a year and a half after the FBI said it broke up this plot, and after a three-week trial, not a single guilty verdict. Defense attorneys say the verdicts should send a strong message to the FBI. I think what the FBI did is unconscionable, is what I think. And I think the jury just sent them a message loud and clear that these tactics are not going to be, you know, we're not going to condone what they've done here. The feds accused the four men of plotting to kidnap the governor from her Elk Rapids cottage in 2020. Our governor was never in any danger. The defense argued the FBI using informants entrapped the four men. To me, this was a signal, you know, a rogue FBI agent. For Brandon Caserta, it meant a quick walk out the back way and freedom after a year and a half in jail. He's, he's out. He's Does gone. Does he want to talk to us? Yeah. Uh, not right now. He's just enjoying a walk down a sidewalk right now. His family members gasped and embraced after the verdict was read. He's been locked up for a year and a half. There's yeah. something the jury said he did not do. Right. What's your <laughs> Pretty sad, about? huh? Well, I'm just glad he's home. Is he happy? Yes, I'm sure he is. It's his birthday. Yeah. It also meant freedom for Daniel Harris, a former Marine who had been charged with four crimes. Your son's been locked up for a year and a half on something the jury said he did not do. That's right. Both could have faced up to life in prison. The jury deliberated for 37 hours starting Monday before announcing the verdicts just after 2 this afternoon. They got zero convictions today. But Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr., the men accused by the FBI of leading the plot, will stay in jail. In their cases, the judge declared a mistrial after the jury announced it was deadlocked. All a huge loss for the federal government. Obviously, we're uh, disappointed uh, with the outcome. Uh, we thought we had to uh, get the jury to convict uh, beyond reasonable doubt. Now, interestingly, the only two men convicted in this plot were the two men who pleaded guilty and who agreed to testify against these co-defendants. One is in prison for six years. The other is awaiting sentencing. Live in Grand Rapids, Ken Kolker, News 8. Ken, thank you for the live report. Governor Whitmer has been silent since the verdict, but her chief of staff released a statement saying, quote, today, Michiganders and Americans, especially our children, are living through the normalization of political violence. The plot to kidnap and kill a governor may seem like an anomaly, but we must be honest about what it really is. The result of violent, divisive rhetoric that is all too common across our country. There must be accountability and consequences for those who commit heinous crimes. Without accountability, extremists will be emboldened. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist reacting as well, saying today's outcome is disappointing, but it cannot and will not prevent us from standing tall for Michigan. When we took our oaths of office, we committed to serving Michiganders. And while violent extremists try to scare us and prevent us from doing our jobs, we will keep that commitment. We will keep working hard and living up to the oath we took. Our differences must be settled at the ballot box, not through violence. The two men that the jury could not reach a verdict for could now face a second trial. News 8's Gabrielle Pfeiffer continues our team coverage with a look at what's ahead. Gabrielle. Well, it sounds like the two men that were not convicted of their charges uh, will go to a second trial. Uh, Barry Crofts and Adam Fox will both remain in custody until a decision is made to take this uh, back to trial for a second time. Now, this, the U.S. attorney told us they are ready to get back to work. Uh, meanwhile, Fox's attorney says if it happens, they'll be ready. Adam is uh, uh, disappointed that he's going to be detained a bit longer, but we're waiting for a second trial and we'll eventually get what we want to get out of this, which is the truth and the, and, and the justice I think Adam is entitled to. Appreciate the time the jury put in, listened to a lot of evidence, deliberated quite a bit. Uh, but we have two defendants that are awaiting trial and we'll get back to work on that. 
Now, defense attorneys are encouraging the government to simply let this go because there is not a case right now. There is no indication of when this might be taken to a second trial. We will keep you updated on air and online with those developments. Reporting here live in Grand Rapids, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, News 8. Gabrielle, we will, of course, see how that plays out. And we will continue to stay on top of all new developments and bring them to you both on air and online at woodtv.com.